welcome to another Dragonlance Saga readings episode. My name is Adam, and today I am reading the DC comic Dragonlance number 15, High Sorcery Part 3 of 4, The Test. Twisted ruins and twilit sky seem part of another world, an in-between world, bordering realms of life and death, of ancient evil and timeless good. In this place, souls are forged, reshaped by one's own hands, one's own choices. This battleground of the spirit waits for the few who dare take the test. I don't understand. I was at the Tower of High Sorcery in Weyrith Forest. Jesterius said that my test of sorcery could begin. Then I suddenly find myself here. It looks familiar somehow. I know this place. It's... Gods of good! It's Naraka! That's the Tower of Darkness! It was virtually destroyed when the Dark Queen fell at the end of the war. But those are its twisted spires. And this is the door that Kalthanan and Natch and I... What? Someone trapped underneath? I've been fooled by false cries before, but I can't let someone suffer. There, almost cleared away. Are you all right? Can you stand? Let me help with... No. After all this time, it's... No. Kalthanan! Where did you come from, Kalthanan? How did you get here? What's happened to you since Naraka? The last time... Kalthanan? Why don't you answer m Beware, Morella. Huh? We're under attack! Draconians! This must be the test! Got to seek cover before I can... BLAM! Must hold my concentration. Still have my magic. Kalthanen, are you just going to stand there? They're resisting the magic of my web. Burning through it. But if it's fire they want, fireball! Impressive. I need answers, not compliments. Who are you? You can't really be Kalthanan. He would have tried to help me. Very well. I shall help. Turn round. Another? So, do you fight me or not? What do you think, Mirella? Azarazar! You're alive! I thought the Draconians must have... Ah! Mirella! Kalthanan... Wizards, tell me why you brought us here, or face my sword. Give him a chance to explain, Riverwind. This is Parsalian, Chief of the White Robes. Former Chief, those duties are behind me now, but my burdens are as great. 
as the evil I have unleashed on Kryn. Hear me. One day LaDonna and I set out to find the lost Tower of High Sorcery, the secret repository for Kryn's greatest magical treasures as the power of wizardry waned. When the King Priest of Istar learned of the tower, he ordered it destroyed. And the Conclave agreed, but a renegade black robe wizard sought to take the tower for himself. A wizard called Spiranus, known in his day as the blackest of the black robes. The blackest. That's who Azarazar warned Mirella against. Azarazar, you say? Fascinating. I must finish my tale. In the battle for the tower, it was cast off. Hurled from Kryn to a demiplane that no wizard could locate. None, that is, until Parsalian and I combined black and white sorceries for the search to find it in this realm. But you didn't find what you expected, did you? A tower, lifeless and abandoned? No. You have seen my story's end as I did not. Spiranus lives all these centuries later. His essence magically merged with the tower itself. So in finding the route here from Kryn... You have shown him the way back! But if this Baranus is as powerful as you say... Why hasn't he revealed himself since we arrived? I've wondered that myself, Goldmoon. He seemed at the height of his powers. Then he retreated, as though called by more pressing concerns. Perhaps, if it was he who launched the attack on the tower at Weyrith, then he may have left you, to try to salvage that effort when the conclave of wizards was driving off his surrogates. The Weyrith Tower? Attacked? Then our foe has already reached Kryn. His surrogates said so, not he. And even they were driven off. Then... Then the Conclave may know the threat they face. I pray they prepare to stop him. <laughs> they will not stop me, Parsalian. No more than you will stop me! Not all the wizards on Kryn can beat me! Who? Dear Morella, it is I. Uh, no. You're not really Kalthanan. But I am! Look at me, Morella! I see his face, and his old manner now. Kalthanan, let me... Why do you turn away? I am Kalthanan, truly. But I am also Thanakan, Kalthanan's father, who killed his son and took his identity, little realizing that stolen soul would be a part of me forever. I did not know this about myself when first we met, Morella. Thanakan was buried deeply until Bracelin set him free. I find this almost too much to believe. Your light elf and dark elf joined as one? Good and evil bound together? How can such a thing be so? How indeed, Marella Harvan? 
unless you answer that question, and come to see its significance in your own life, you fail your test. And die. Such is the price for failure and folly. She even had the temerity to question why I should be in charge of a test instead of the white robe Dumbar. Justarius, you know she only said that because I'm so much better looking than you are. What are you looking for, Kalthanan? Kalthanan? Are you going to answer me? Or are you an illusion? Maybe none of this is real. I've heard of how initiates face illusions during their tests. Perhaps I'm still at Weyrith Tower, yes? This, Mirella, this is no illusion. What? The Mindbender. I wasn't sure I could trust what Raceland told me, but here it is in the ruins of the temple, just as he said it would be. Raceland? But he sent word he hadn't seen you since before the temple fell. He lied! Raceland was the prince of lies, Morella, although it was his truths that inflicted more pain. But here is truth, the artifact that once was his, and with whose existence he taunted me. Now the amulet is mine, to control, to end my hellish torment! Can you imagine it, Morella, my sickening lot, loving good and craving evil? How many have I murdered to stop this torture? And how much of my soul have I killed with each death? Kalthanan. No! There can be no comfort, Morella. Only an end. In the hands of an experienced wizard, the Mindbender twists any victim to its master's will. It can reshape. Replace. Destroy a mind. But what will it do to you? I do not know, Morella. Destroy Kalthanan? Destroy Thanakan? It matters little. All I care for is to stop the madness. You can't! And I can't let you. I've searched too long for you. For Kalthanan to let him die? It is not your decision, Mirella. There must be another way. The wizards of the White Robes could... The White Robes? Is that what you imagine you are? You are even more confused than I. And you will not stay me from my course. Oh! I forgot. You have Thanakin's magic. But I have sorcery of my own to command. Magic missiles? A child's blow. In Thanakins, I have regained the skills of an elf's lifetime, and neither your magic nor your dagger is a match for me. Kalthanan, don't you understand? I'm trying to save you. The Mindbender will decide who is saved and who dies? It may yet come to pass that Kalthanan survives, and Thanakan will not. And if Kalthanan is the one who dies? I can accept that. It is closure that I seek. But then there would be only Thanakan, dark power unchecked by Kalthanan's goodness. Blink. And I cannot allow that! I don't want Kalthanan to die, but I'll kill you if I need to. 
I'll kill you both! This may be our death, Goldmoon. They are endless, unstoppable. Don't give up, my love. I never said I would. Honk. I am sorry, Riverwind. I should not have snatched you from Kryn. But you and Goldmoon were at Weyrath Tower, where my link is strong. I thought you were my only hope. And now I've doomed you too. Remember, Parsalian, all of Kryn will suffer this doom unless we stop Spiranus. Oh, we will stop him. We must. Dream on, Cleric of Mishakal. And may those dreams comfort you in your grave. Why do you persist, woman? My magic is greater! Be wise. Leave me alone. And I may yet let you live. He is more powerful than I, but he's evil. And hiding from him won't... Moons of magic! What's he doing to me now? No, it isn't his doing. He's still searching for me. Someone else's magic is pulling me away. But I can't allow it. Not while Thanakin's a menace. I must either rescue Calthanan from his father's influence, or end his threat to Kryn however I can. But I may not have much of a chance. I have to act fast. What? The mind bender levitating. That does you little good, Morella, if I levitate myself to recapture it. Nor will your fragile mind remain hidden from its power. But I wasn't hiding. Eh? Just getting close enough to make sure that when I fade away... You come too! The only thing I wonder though... Oof! Is what we've landed in now. It is the next phase of your test, Initiate. And we shall see if you choose as wisely there as you have thus far. I rather believe she will, Justarius. Possibly, Morella has begun to see the complexities of her position and perhaps understand at last what the balance requires. Is that not so, Azrazar? It is. Much good may flow from Morella's choices to the benefit of all of Kryn, but her trials are not over. And the worst is yet to come. To be concluded. Thank you for tuning in to this Dragonlance Saga reading. What do you think of the comic? Have you ever read comics before? Feel free to email me at info at dlsaga.com or leave a comment below. This channel is all about celebrating the wonderful world of the Dragonlance Saga, and I thank you for joining me in the celebration. Thank you for watching. This has been Adam with Dragonlance Saga, and until next time, Slanjavar.